Welcome, and welcome back to All That The Wind Has Brought Here, to another episode of a wholesome game about farming, where, okay, I'll admit, I may have googled it, I may have googled a little something something, but I feel it's important. be able to finish this off because I have other ideas of games for us to play here on the channel. And I had the ending I wanted, which was with the well-spoken girl who didn't creep me out. But for that, we need to find Scraps' favorite food, and I wasn't sure how to do that. So, let's ask I'm about cat sitting. Good day to you. Good day. How can I help you? My name's Jeff, and I run the farm just south of here. Say, I know it's a shot in the dark and all, but might you know anyone willing to look in on a cat once in a while? Supposing I had to leave town. I'm guessing, and it just so happens I'm rather good with animals myself. Cats, dogs, birds. A friend's pet monkey spent the summer with me once and didn't want to go back in the fall. Land sakes, that's quite a resume. No pets of your own. I don't really see myself settling down with an animal. Variety is the spice of life. Well, a cat's not so exotic, I guess, but suppose I were out of town for a few days. I reckon you could look in on my cat nickels. I'd pay you for your trouble, of course. Well, at risk of bragging, I'm something of a commodity as a pet sitter. I'll do it happily, but I'm probably not the cheapest option. Approximately what figure would you figure? A thousand. That's a big ask, all right. Don't know if I can manage it, but I'll sure let you know. All right. Um, let's ask for advice. Say, uh, yes. If it's not too much trouble, you being a pet expert and all, I wondered if you got any tips on how to go about figuring a cat's favorite food. Sure. Cats can be rather particular, but you can tell whether they've enjoyed a meal by how they react after eating it. For example, if your cat jumps after eating his food, that suggests he liked the taste. If he spins after eating, it means he liked the texture. But remember that a double jump or a triple spin indicates that he is not at all impressed by the aroma. And safe, you sure do know your stuff. Never knew the old boy was such a sophisticate. All cats are. Anyway, once you think you've figured out a food he really likes, come talk to me. If you can describe to me exactly what he did, I can tell you what it means. Okay. And I did Google it so that we would get this right. We need to give him piece of rye and watch what he does. Jump, spin, spin, jump, spin. Jump, spin, spin, jump, spin. Uh, what does it mean if he does a Jump, spin, spin, jump, spin. Such enthusiasm. The reaction of a cat who enjoys the simple things in life. And sakes, can't get no simpler. It wasn't but a stock of wild rye I gave him to chew on. The appetite, like the heart, wants what it wants, Jeff. It's not for us to judge. Thanks a whole bundle for all your help. No need to thank me. Consider it a bit of advertising for my pet sitting services. Do put in a good word about me with your friends, even if you go with someone else. I surely will. Okay. I suppose we can collect all the mushrooms and stuff, but I don't particularly know what I intend to do with them all. I'm 
gonna be honest. Because we have the rising star suit. And I think all we need to do is talk to this girl. Good day, did you figure out Nichols' favorite food? Sure did. Turns out there's nothing the old boy likes more than a plain old stock of ride to chomp on. How wonderful. I can find some growing wild for him. Could I bring him some to try? Sure, that ain't no trouble. Is now a good time? Sure. Now it's as fun a time as any to come meet the old boy. Wonderful, let me go get some rye. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go. Come on in. Pardon my humble accommodations. Seems the cleaning staff hasn't been over the place in a while. Cleaning staff? That's what I call my broom. This must be Nichols. I brought you something, boy. <clears throat> he ate it, but... Hmm, never heard him make that sound before. You feeling all right, boy? Oh no, I was so sure I'd gotten the right... I just... Uh... I'm so sorry, Jep. I don't know why I thought I could do this. Hang on, just a... Land sakes, boy, you don't look so good. Could just be a little old piece of rye. Could just a little old piece of rye really be ailing you so? Mm. No interest in playing nor food, huh, boy? Wish I knew what I could do. Well, let's go check with the pet expert. Because I totally googled this. I'm not gonna lie. This is so complex with nothing else about it. It's insane. Ask the cat advice. Begging your pardon again. I sure hate to impose, but it's important. Yes? My old cat ain't been acting himself. Moving slow, not caring much for food. And caterwaul and something awful. Oh dear, when did this start? Mighty recently. Seems to have been something he ate, but it doesn't make no sense. The young lady gave him what looked like rye to me, plain as day. Shook it awful hard, too, poor girl. Rye wouldn't cause that. Is there anything else in the house you might have gotten into? Garlic. Land sakes, I've been cooking with it lately. That's gotta be it. Old boy must have found some when I was out. Garlic is very toxic to cats, Jeff. You shouldn't leave it where he can get it. I surely don't, but I guess a bit might have fallen while I was cooking. He must have gotten more than a taste. That's good. If it was a tiny amount, he should recover on his own. Poor boy, I feel just awful. Not to mention that poor girl. She ran out so quick, thinking a bit of rye did all this. Rye she picked herself, just to make a good impression on the old boy. Haven't seen her in town since. She sounds like a very special person. Maybe she's the cat sitter you're looking for. Sure might have been. But now she's gone, and I ain't got no kind of idea where she went. No, I like Malia. But I guess I ain't gone looking, have I? Less I've got to try. Follow your heart. Go after her, Jeff. Go after that girl and ask her to watch your cat for a few days while you're out of town. I reckon I will. Well, she ran off into the woods, I bet she's over here. Gonna go find Milia. There's someone up ahead, Annabelle. I reckon it's her. Oh, Jeff, how did you find me all the way out here? Wasn't none too easy. I've been searching a while. I'm sorry I ran off. I know I should have stayed and taken responsibility for making Nichols sick, but I just felt sure he'd be better off without me there. That's why I had to come check on my tree. 
your tree? Well, it certainly is a beauty. Not that tree. This one. I planted it next to this big tree when I was little because I thought the big tree would be a good role model for the little one. So it's never gotten as much sunlight as the other trees. Sometimes on summer days, I would give it my lemonade as a treat. I've only caused it harm. But I grew up. I learned more about plants. I've been bringing fertilizer and water during dry spells. But this year, it's actually been doing better. When Nichols started acting so sick, I just felt so useless again. I wanted to come out here and see if I really... My gosh, Nichols, is he okay, right? Surely a little piece of bad rye wouldn't have... He'll be just fine. Turns out it was me who was no good at caring for cats. I've been cooking carelessly with garlic, it seems. And he must have gotten into some. He's on the upswing, but I reckon I'm feeling mighty low. Not just for getting the old boy sick, but also for leaving you blaming yourself over it. I'm so glad to hear he's okay. All that said, if you're not too sore at me over all this, I reckon I still need a cat sitter. <clears throat> I'd like that. Thanks, Jeff. Anyhow, I'd best be getting back home. Well past my bedtime. I can give you a ride back to town if you'd like. Being a long trek after dark and all. That's okay. I enjoy the evening air. And I don't think anything dangerous lives around here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I am choking. True enough. Well, see you soon. Bit a ho man in hollow just to taste him die. When I hear those church bells ringing. Jesus. Alright. Well, that's a rather ridiculous amount of rye that we're gonna harvest just for the sake of saying we did. That's hilarious. Okay. And then we'll grab Annabelle. Well, Annabelle, I reckon I've got all I need. A mouth water and recipe, a fine traveling companion, and company for nickels while we're away. Nothing in particular keeping us from paying a visit to the capital. Let's go. Fine weather for setting out, and if it keeps up, we'll have a nice nighttime ride back tomorrow night by the light of the full moon, too. Let's be off then, old girl. Adventure awaits. The following night. The time has come, Bat. Prepare to die. This way. What? We've two beasts cornered at once, brothers. Let us dispatch them both. You ordered us dinner? How very thoughtful. Slay first the vampire, for she has felled sixteen of our brothers. You all die together, fools. Oh, this is awful. Oh, God. Darn it. Ah! This could take a bit. Oh, this is so awful. Oh, it's gonna be so easy to get cornered. Oh, good 
god. Okay. We've gotten some of them now. Okay. This is feeling a lot better now. Alright, I've leveled up. I'm really a bat now. So long, dog. Wings! Magnificent! No more getting trapped in courtyards for me. Wait a minute. The sky is the last place I'll want to be when the sun comes up, and I don't have time to find a new place to hide. I've got to get back to the stable. I hope the hunters can keep him busy enough that he won't have time to come looking for me. What do I smell? Was there a horse in here? The saddle is gone. The stable is in use again. I can't sleep here anymore. What do I do? Where can I hide? Oh no. No, 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 no. What do I do? I'm lucky that might have knocked him out, but even then I... Home at last, Annabelle. And a fine trip it was. Looks like some kind of critters must have found their way in here while we were gone and made some trouble. No real harm done. Proud as I am of my cooking, seems it ain't quite worth a golden shovel in the big city. Second place is a plenty fine prize to bring home, though. And the silver pitchfork ain't nothing to sneeze at. <coughs> Nighty night, old girl. We'll see you in the morning. I, uh, wow. Yeah. <coughs> Have at you, foul beast. Bat emerge? Cheeky devils, they're pretty close to the town. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, what is going on? This game is amazing, you guys. Adventure was victorious. Almost there. Looking forward to a hot meal and a good night's sleep. Good day, fellow adventurer. Good day. What? Is the whole town prospering because Raluca murders people? Oh my god. Yes, can I help you? Yes, have you got anything for a novice? I'm proficient as a swordsman, but I dabble in. I recommend a compass and a canteen then. Perhaps one of those survival guides at the front. I uh, was hoping for maybe some sort of amulet, and I thought those books would be... Bear with me a sec, guys. Say spell books, and I'll hit you with every last one of them. This is not a magic shop. But, but the scrolls, potions, even your hat. This is just a wide brimmed hat. Do you even know what hat brims are for? They're for blocking the sun. Mainly a problem faced rugged outdoorsman like myself. Not by a Crusty old cultists muttering over cauldrons full of newts. Those potions won't help you shoot lightning, but they will boost your electrolytes, and I think you'll find that's far more useful after a long trek. 
and scrolls? Seriously? Look at those. They're as wide as I am tall, you dolt. Those are clearly sleeping pads. The absurdity of it. I won't do business with the likes of you. Now get out of my camping store. Out! Okay. This is nuts. Welcome to the Fertile Hollow Armory. Wow, quite a selection. What would you like to rent? Uh, rent? Yes, due to realties, or realities of supply and demand, we are a strictly rent-only armory. If you see something you like, I can get you some insurance forms to get started on. I think I'll stick with the equipment I've got for now. Suit yourself. Just remember that any orc, goblin, or juvenile dragon you slay with unlicensed gear could be in violation of our international treaty. But I'm sure you've got all your papers in order. I, uh, I might swing by again on my way out of town. Safe journey, traveler. Up to you. Wow. Watch your step, pal. Uh, sure. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Good day, adventurer. What brings you to my camp? I heard there was an inn. You're not staying there? I sense something strange about the place, so I've decided to make camp here. Why come to this town at all, then, if not for food and rest? I'm a vampire hunter by trade, as were 21 of my brothers who fell here. I have come to avenge them. That's quite a few brothers. And you all became vampire hunters? Oh no, most of us went into finance. Much safer. But for some of us, the call to hunt was too strong to resist. Well, good luck. I'll watch my back. See that you do. This is insane. This is amazing. What a lip. Uh, I mean, what do you need? Sorry to bother you. This town is a bit different since I was here last. Weren't you the barkeep? Sure, and now I'm the mayor. Ever since that last fella disappeared. Disappeared? Without a trace, the town elected me to replace him. A distressing story, but congratulations on being elected. I don't mind the new digs. Anyway, I'm mayor, not town historian. If you want to chit chat with somebody, head up to Jeff's. There's a sign on the door. It reads, No Adventures. This is a place of wisdom, not free healing. How rude. Good day. Same to you, ma'am. Could you direct me to the inn? Just north of here. I would recommend the suit. I'll give it a try. Thanks. Oh, wow. This must be the end. Now I'm exploring. Incredible to find such good food and lodgings in a place like this. Even the furniture is rather nice. The garlic bread here is splendid. Pum pumpkin bread! More pumpkin bread! Brave heroes and confident fools congregate here, adventurer. Which are you? The former, I hope. Tomorrow I re resume my quest. Dangers untold await me. Will I see my home again? Bother someone else. Welcome back, my friend. Good to see you. I'm sure you've gained some new tales of adventure to share. Though, as I'm sure you can see, this town's had an adventure of its own since we last met. Indeed, what's happened here? Best to hear it from the man himself. He runs this inn. I can't see behind anybody, can I? No. Welcome. What can I do for you? A meal and a bed, please. 
are two specialties. What luck. I was also hoping to learn a bit more about this town. Seems it changed a lot since I was last here. Changed for me more than just about anyone, I reckon. Barely had a farm, and now I've got a farm, an inn, and a restaurant, too. Remarkable. What brought about such change in your luck? Well, I can't place it on any one particular thing. But I reckon it was about the time I threw my last coin into an old well. And with so much extra food being produced in such a remote little town, such as this, it became a popular stop for the adventuring sort. So I added another floor for folks to sleep, and the rest is history. Quite a journey. Well, thank you for the food and company. It's time I get some sleep. I reckon I'm near done for today, too. Sleep well. Innkeeper, two slices of pumpkin bread. Oh, uh, terribly sorry, sir. Last call, call for supper was at sundown, and no one came up. I wasn't hungry then. I am hungry now. Bread. On a clean plate. Oh, I, uh, I... Good evening, Jeff. Oh, uh, evening, Flora. Hope the noise didn't wake you. This gentleman, I overheard. Not to worry, my shift is starting soon anyway. Nothing I can't handle. You sure? Fine's already gone. Fire's already gone cold. And go on now. You've got an early morning tomorrow. Get some rest. Well, that's true enough. Awful sorry for leaving you with mess. I'll clean up. Good night, Chet. Don't know what I ever did to deserve such good help. You're a blessing, Clara. Good night. Well, whoever you are, hurry up and make me a meal. Right away, sir. Well, that... That was something. Thank you all so very much for joining me for a wholesome game about farming. That was, that was a lot. That was an absolute roller coaster. And, and by the way, guys, this game is completely free on Steam. That was amazing. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And don't forget about karma.